how to keep up. Um, I think key things that we have in the slides here is how to read a paper. A lot of detail about it. I'll let you read it on your own. But key messages, don't read it character by character from start to finish. Because you'll end up reading a lot of papers that are not that interesting after the fact to you. Um, so you've got to read in a more careful way, um, top down a bit more. What papers to read? Maybe just read all the papers. Not really that <laughs> feasible. Um, here are some pointers of where you might get some inspiration for what papers to read. Newsletter, Archive Sanity, which is a collaborative filtering system for paper reading. Um, Twitter has a lot of people posting papers they like. Um, there's a Facebook group. There's an ML subreddit. These could be sources for you to find out which papers to read. Um, save you time not reading many of the papers. Having a reading group is a really good idea. Um, because if you have a reading group, um, let's say even just five people, which is not a lot, this can save you about 80% of the reading work. Um, even if it's just two of you, you can already save 50% of the work by being two of you. Because whenever the other person read a paper and it was a bad paper, you don't have to bother anymore. When it's a good paper, they can probably summarize it to you in a couple minutes, whereas it would take probably much longer to actually read and understand it. And so as you try to keep up, I would very highly recommend to at least have one other person trying to keep up with you to save yourself a lot of time. Thank you. <laughs>